prayer that you pray it has a record in the kingdom of heaven you may forget what you prayed about but God does not forget in his time in his way he will answer so today I want you to see how crying out to Jesus makes a difference in someone's life. So let me show you the first thing that the Prabhu Yisru ka pukarne se ek manushya ka zivan mein kaise change jata hai. Today we will be looking at Luke chapter 17 verse 11 to 19. Aaj hum log dekhenge Luke chapter 17 verse 11 to 19. And the title is Cry out for help and shout out for praise. Or title hai उनको पुकारो सहायता के करने के लिए और उनका महिमा भी करो क्राई आउट फॉर हेल्प उस उनको सहायता के लिए पुकारिए शाउट आउट फॉर प्राइस और उनका महिमा भी चिल्ला चिल्ला के कीजिए देयर इज अ कैटेगोरिकल डिफरेंस देयर इज अ डिग्री ऑफ प्रोग्रेशन इन क्राइंग आउट इन दिस प्लेस और यहां पे एक डिफरेंस है कैसे हम उनको पुकारते हैं क्राइंग आउट इज अ लिटिल softer tone हम जब उनको दिल से पुकारता है ये थोड़ा soft tone में आता है लेकिन shouting out praise is a high pitched tone लेकिन जब हम चिल्लाते हैं तो ये ऊपरी वाला tone होता है so that is why I want you to see today that we are not only crying out or begging for mercy from Jesus इसलिए हम दिखाना चाहता हूँ कि खाली हम प्रभु इस को दिल से पुकार तो नहीं रहे हैं या उनसे भिक्षा तो नहीं मांग रहे हैं but we are also people who shout out praise for the glory of God. लेकिन हम लोग वैसे भी लोग हैं जो परमेश्वर का महिमा के लिए हम लोग हमारे हम चिल्लाते भी हैं. In fact, every incident in which people cried out to Jesus, और यहाँ पे प्रत्येक इंसिडेंट में जैसे लोगों ने प्रभु यीशु को पुकारा था, they received grace and mercy. उन लोग ने अनुग्रह और दया को पाया था. And the automatic response of receiving grace and mercy was Praise and glorifying God. और उन्होंने जब अनुग्रह और दया को पाया था, उन्होंने response किया था automatic में, उन्होंने परमेश्वर का चिल्ला के महिमा किया। Man is created for the glory of God. मनुष्य को परमेश्वर का महिमा करने के लिए सिस्टी किया गया। If a human being cannot glorify God, cannot worship God, he goes out of his mind. एक मनुष्य अगर परमेश्वर का महिमा नहीं कर सकता है, तो वो अपना मन का बाहर में चला जाता है। and therefore we see people worship all kind of things. But in the Bible we see how man is created for the glory of God. And when we praise God, we are joining along with the heavenly creatures. With the angels we do the glory of God. The angels in heaven worship God. When we worship here, our worship is echoing in combination with the worship of the angels. Or worship and the Bible also says the heavens and the earth and the seas and everything glorifies God. That means even the nature glorifies God. You see when you plant flowers, when the flower blooms, when you see a beautiful flower, how do you feel? Nobody has to tell you to feel like that. You automatically have some kind of response to that beauty. Because that beauty itself is a an expression of nature to glorify God. Because it was a sundar ta, prakriti ka ek expression hota hai, parmeshwar ka mahima karni. So when you praise God here together, isi tarah aap log sab yaha pe parmeshwar ka mahima karte hai isa. You not only join with angels, aap log khali surat hote ke isa join nahi hote hai. You join with the nature itself. Lekin aap prakriti ke saath bhi aap join hote hai. Because 
everything in the nature gives glory to God. क्योंकि प्रत्येक चीज प्रकृति में वही परमेश्वर का महिमा करता है. Only the devil and demonic spirit and human being do not give God. अरे devil, demonic spirit or sorry, human beings और मनुष्य परमेश्वर का महिमा नहीं करता. The devil has rebelled against God. वो जो सेतन ने परमेश्वर के साथ रिबल किया है. And people who are deceived by the devil are also in the same category. और जो लोग जो लोग सेतन में जिस लोगों को सेतन में अंदा किया है वो लोग भी परमेश्वर को अगेंस्ट में सो टुडे आई वांट यू टू फोकस ऑन व्हाई वी वांट टू ग्लोरीफाई गॉड इसलिए आज मैं आप लोगों को दिखाना चाहता हूं क्यों हम लोग परमेश्वर को महिमा करते हैं एंड वी आर नॉट ओनली सपोज्ड टू क्राई 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 फॉर हेल्प खाली हम लोग परमेश्वर को सहायता के लिए रोना नहीं है वी हैव टू ग्लोरीफाई गॉड हमें बोल दैट वी हैव हमें हमें परमेश्वर का महिमा भी करना है हमारे पास जो भी है लेट अस रीड Luke chapter 11 verse uh, 17 verse 11 to 19. भाई हम लोग Luke chapter 17 verse 11 uh, verse 11 to 19 तक देखेंगे. As he was on his way to Jerusalem, जब वो जेरुसलम के तरफ जा रहा था, he was passing along the border of Samaria and Galilee. वो समरे के बॉर्डर से वो साइड से जा रहा था. As he entered into a certain village, जब वो एक एक गांव में पहुंचा, ten men who were lepers met him. दस उस रोगी वाला ने वालों ने उनको मिला. And stood at a distance. और एक उन लोगों ने दूर में ही रुका उनके लिए. They lifted up their voices, saying, उन लोगों ने अपने आवाज को वो उठा के बोला, Master Jesus, Master, have mercy upon us. मालिक यीशु हमारे हम पर दया कीजिए. When he saw them, जब उन्होंने उनको देखा, he said to them, वो उन्होंने उनको बोला, Go and show yourself to the priests. जाओ और जाके यज्ञ को दिखाओ. As they went, they were cleansed. जब वो लोग जाही रहे थे, वो लोग साफ हो गए. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, और उनमें से एक ने जब देखा कि वो चंगाई पा चुका था, turned back, glorifying God with a loud voice. वहाँ से उसने घूम-घूम के परमेश्वर का महिमा किया, चिपके-चिपके. He fell on his face at Jesus' feet. वो मुखों के बल प्रभु यीशु के चरणों में गिरा. Giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. और उन्हें धन्यवाद दिया, और वो एक समरिया का व्यक्ति था. Jesus answered. यीशु ने उत्तर दिया. Where the ten cleansed? कहाँ वो जो दस था कहाँ गया? But where are they nine? Where are the nine? लेकिन नौ कहाँ गए? Where they are none found who returned to give glory to God? वो वो लोग नहीं आए क्या परमेश्वर का महिमा करने के लिए? Except this stranger. हाली ये जो बाहर का है? Then he said to him. उसके बाद उन्होंने उनको बोला. Get up and go your way. वहाँ तुम उठो और तुम्हारे रास्तों में जाओ. Your faith has healed you. तुम्हारा विश्वास ने तुमको संकाय दिया. This is the last journey Jesus is taking from Galilee to Jerusalem, and he will be then crucified. और ये अंतिम जर्नी है जो गैलिली से जरूसलम तक जा रहा है, उसके बाद वो क्रुसिफाई होगा. From Galilee he wanted to go straight through Samaria to Jerusalem. गैलिली से वो स्ट्रेट जरूसलम जाना चाहता था फिर समरिया तक. But the Samaritan people refused him. लेकिन समरिया के लोगों ने उनको इंकार किया. They hated Jews, so they did not allow Jesus to pass through Samaria. और उन्होंने उन लोगों समरे के लोग जिहुदी लोगों को हेट करता था और इसलिए इसी को जाने से रुक रहा. And the disciple John was so mad and he said, Lord, shall we call fire from heaven to destroy this Samaritan? और जॉन इतना गुस्से से पागल हो गया था कि उसने बोला कि प्रभु क्या हम लोग आप को सरोवर से खुला है क्या ही लोगों को ढंक्स करने के लिए? And Jesus rebuked them and then he moved away from Samaria and went. To the border of between Galilee. और इसी में उनको दाता और समरे का border से जाके वो गाली तक पहुँचे. And when he was taking this detour, he came into this village. और जब ये उन्होंने इस साइड से जा रहा था तो इस गांव में आया. And there we see this amazing incident takes place. और यहाँ पे हम लोग देखते हैं कि ये जो एक बढ़िया incident जो यहाँ पे हुआ. Ten lepers are standing far away from Jesus. दस उस लोगी रविशु से बहुत दूर में थे. And they are shouting. और उन्होंने वो लोग चिल्ला रहे. Or they are lifting their voice, not shouting. वो लोग चिल्ला नहीं रहे थे, लेकिन अपने आवाज को बढ़ा करके बुला रहे. They were crying out, saying, "Jesus, Master, have mercy on us." और वो लोग पुकार रहे थे कि मालिक यीशु हम पे दया करो. They could not come near to Jesus. वो लोग यीशु के पास नहीं आ सके. Leprosy was, as I said before, in one of the passages. One of the most sad diseases one could catch in those days. और कुछ लोग ऐसा एक बीमार है कि उन दिनों में कोई भी उसको अगर पकड़ ले तो वो बहुत दुख भरी था. 
it, but, uh, it not only destroys one's body, it destroys the soul itself. Once you got leprosy, if that's it, your life is finished. As long as you live, you have to live on the mercy of someone who will throw some food. When you go towards the village or the city, you have to scream from a distance, unclean, unclean. So that people will hear their cries and run away from that place. Because they don't want to breathe the same air with the lepers. So these ten lepers had no hope in life. They were outcast, rejected, miserable human beings. They could not even come to see Jesus. They had heard about him. They have heard also how he cleansed some lepers before. But because they were lepers, people would not allow them to come into the crowd. So they cry out to Jesus. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And the, the, the text, the verse says, when he saw them, they could not come near and Jesus couldn't go there. Maybe the religious leaders or the village leaders were telling them not to come because they were so afraid of leprosy. Because the Jewish laws and the traditions were so rigid that once you have leprosy, you are not allowed to do certain things. And therefore, Jesus saw them from a distance. And he said to them, Go and show yourself to the priests. Now, you could not go to the priest unless you are cleansed by le from leprosy. But here they could not even come to the crowd. Jesus is telling them, go to the temple or go to the priest. So they go and they see Jesus is using their own traditions to demonstrate what he could do. Only when a person is absolutely healed from leprosy, then they would go to the priest to verify their healing. And then the priest will tell them to sacrifice certain things. And then the priest will perform certain ceremony to declare them as cleansed from uh, leprosy. But Jesus speaks from a distance and tells them, go to show yourself to the priest. And as they were going, something amazing happened. Long before they could go to the priest, their skin began to turn to normal. Their fingers began to come back to normal state. They began to touch their faces. They found them. And so much so that they continued to go to the priest. 
और इसके बाद उन लोग के याजक के पास जाते रहे चलते रहे नाम देव वाज नो चांस फॉर द प्रीस्ट टू चेस देम आउट ऑफ द टेंपल यहां पे याजक के पास कोई भी चांस नहीं था उन लोग को मंदिर से दे वर 100% क्लेंस एंड देयरफॉर दे वर गोइंग टू द प्रीस्ट वो लोग 100% चंगाई पा चुके थे इसलिए वो लोग याजक के पास आ रहे थे बट एज दे वर गोइंग लेकिन जब वो लोग जा रहे थे वन ऑफ देम could not control his gratefulness to what Jesus has done for him almost unme se ek ek jan ne apna jo hriday mein prabhu yeshu ke liye jo prasanta tha usko rok nahi paya he must have talked to the nine other people sayab unhone us nine vyaktiyon se bhi baat kiya guys why bother going to a priest unlo ne unhone sayab bat bataya hoga kyu yaza ke paas jaye okay what did that priest do to you yaza ne kya kiya But, but Jesus the son of God who simply said go and we went and got healed lekin isu jo parmeshwar ka sattan hai usne khali bola ki tum jao aur parmeshwar ne changa kiya why don't we go to a priest who is greater than all of the priests you know aisa yaza ke paas kyun na jaye jo sabhi yajakon se mahan hai why don't we go back to the person who made us heal ye us vyakti ke paas kyun hum log ke liye na jaye jisne humne changa kiya these three these are the nine people they may be Jews लेकिन ये जो नौ व्यक्ति का सा ये जिहुद जिहुदी था दे मे बी पीपल हु वांटेड टू फॉलो रिलीजन सा ये लोग वैसा व्यक्ति था जो धर्म को पीछे पीछे चलना चाहता था दे वांटेड टू फॉलो द ट्रेडिशंस वो लोग ट्रेडिशन को फॉलो करना चाहते दे वांटेड टू मेक श्योर दैट द प्रीस्ट परफॉर्म्स द सेरेमनी टू डिक्लेअर देम एज क्लेंज वो लोग ये चाहता था कि या जब वो सेरेमनी को परफॉर्म करे कि वो साफ हो उसको उनको साफ बोलो but this samaritan did not care about what man says lekin is samaria ka vyakti ne manushya kya bole bolega usko usne kya nahi kiya this samaritan had amazing revelation from god so to say and he came back to jesus is samaria vyakti ke paas parmeshwar ka bahadur revelation tha isliye wo prabhu yeshu ke paas chala aaya so he said one of them when he saw that he was healed turned back instead of going forward to the priest he turned back isliye ek jan ne jisne dekha ki wo changai paas chala tha wo prabhu yeshu ke paas laut ke chala gaya and how did he turn back aur usse kaise laut tha glorifying god with a loud voice wo parmeshwar ka mahima kar raha tha ek uchch aawaz se Jesus Christ has forgiven your sins. अगर प्रभु यीशु ने आप लोगों का पापों का समान किया, can you keep quiet? आप लोग क्या मुख को बंद कर सकते हैं? If Jesus is the Lord and Savior, अगर प्रभु यीशु आपका प्रभु है और उधार करता है, can you remain passive, क्या unresponsive, क्या ऐसा ही हो सकता है कि मुंह से आप कोई भी कुछ कुछ ना बोले प्रभु के लिए और उस पर रेस्पॉन्ड ना करें दिस समरिटन कुड नॉट कीप क्वाइट ये समय व्यक्ति मुंह को बंद नहीं कर पाया अ पर्सन हु हैज ट्रूली एक्सपीरियंस द टच ऑफ क्राइस्ट इन देयर लाइफ दे कैन नॉट कीप क्वाइट एक वो एक व्यक्ति जिसने प्रभु यीशु का स्पर्श को महसूस किया है अपने जीवन में वो कभी भी चुप नहीं रह सकता they don't care what other people think about them wo kabhi bhi care nahi karega dusre log unke vishay mein kya sochte they don't care what the tradition says wo kabhi bhi care nahi karega tradition kya bolta they don't care what the society says wo care nahi karta hai society kya bolta because society will always say the things that will put you in bondage because society wo sab cheeze hi bolega jo cheeze aapko bandhan mein baandhe society will put you in laws and traditions and commandments society aapko विधान में ट्रेडिशन में और कमांडमेंट्स में आपको दुबई सोसाइटी विल पुट अ योक ऑफ बंदिस अपॉन यू सोसाइटी आपके ऊपर बंधन को डाले बट जीसस इज द वन हु ब्रेक्स एवरी बंदिस लेकिन यीशु वो है जो हर बंधन को तोड़ तोड़ता है ही इज द वन हु गिव्स यू एब्सोल्यूट लिबर्टी इन लाइफ वो 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 ऐसा उधार करता है जो आपको स्वतंत्रता देता है जीवन में but sometimes even christians live under such kind of yokes and bondage and they cannot worship god lekin bahut baar christians aisa bandhan aur bojh mein rehta hai isliye wo log prabhu ka prashansa mahima nahi kar sakte they become like the nine lepers who were cleansed but instead of coming back to give god the glory they went back into tradition wo no lepers ki tarah ho jata hai wo parmeshwar ka mahima aage nahi karta hai lekin wapas chala jata they went back into pleasing the people appeasing the society aur wo jaake manushya ko prasanna karne laga ya society ko jaake prasanna karne laga they want to face the same their face in front of other people and their friends wo apne doston ke samne ya dusre logon ke samne apna mukho ko bachana chahta hai but this samaritan said 
down with that kind of lifestyle. I was a leper and no society came to save me. I was a Samaritan and Jews were so mocking at my origin. I was a hopeless person and no friend in a family came around to save me. Today Jesus has transformed my life from nothing to something. Why bother what society says? I will go back to Jesus. I will give him the glory. I will worship him. I will fall at his feet. I will become his follower. I will do what he tells me to do. People may say I'm crazy. I will rather be crazy in the eyes of the people but worship him anyway. That is the mentality of a person who has truly met Jesus. It is my prayer that both his members will be like this one Samaritan and not like the ten people or nine people who went away. Because I said, the more grateful you are, the more grace you will receive in life. Listen what Jesus said. When this fellow came back praising God, Jesus said, when the ten cleansed, where are the nine? The nine were only interested in physical healing. physical healing They were interested in temporal relief. temporary temporary relief And Jesus with his question is expressing his displeasure towards the action these nine took. He said, where there none found who returned to give glory to God except this stranger. Verse 19 is very important. Verse 19 is important. Then he said to him, he is now at the feet of Jesus or and Jesus touches him and lifts him up and he says, get up and he gets up and he gets up and he looks in the eyes of Jesus. He is face to face with the Son of the Living God. And, and Jesus says one of the amazing statements says, Go your way. This is not something get lost. It's not that. It means my brother, my Samaritan, my stranger, you came back to give God the glory. But now you have received healing in your life. You are a free human being. Now go your way. The way you wanted to live your life, now go and live. The dreams you had in your life, but leprosy had taken away. Now go and get back your dreams. The outcast that you were as a Samaritan from society, now go and live your life in freedom. You know, when you come to Jesus with the whole heart, mind, and soul, He will give you a life that is beyond your imagination. 
You will break the limitation of your sickness and disease. You will break the limitation of poverty and the misery. He will, he will even limit, uh, liberate you from the bondage society put you in. You will be a free human being. You will live the way you wanted to live. But for that first, you will have to recognize the leprosy within your heart. You will have to recognize the bundle and the bondage you have put yourself in. You will have to recognize what kind of bondage society is putting on you. When you cry out to him for mercy, he will give you the mercy. But then, after you have received mercy from God, what kind of response do you have? Are you like the nine lepers who went away? They never heard this statement from Jesus. We don't know whether they were truly cleansed or not after that. But this man got a divine confirmation and Jesus said, your faith has healed you. Now go and live the kind of life you have before because your faith has healed you your faith has restored you back into your original dream many times Jesus said let it be done to you according to your faith what do you believe can you imagine you come to Jesus for believing something? And he says to you, let it be done according to your faith. And you catch that statement from Jesus. And it will change your life. Or Jesus was even to change And here yeah, Jesus said, Your faith has healed you. He had come along with the ten people knowing Jesus can heal them. When Jesus said, Go to show the priest, they went. And as they were going, they saw the miracle. And when he realized that this is an amazing grace of God that has touched his life, and he said, Why bother going to a priest now? I will go back to Jesus. I will give him the glory. The word is very dramatic here. He said, glorify God with a loud voice. Your mouth is made for a purpose. It is to declare the glory of God. It is to speak life-giving words. So when we come to worship, when we open our mouth and praise God, it brings pleasure to the heart of God. Here Jesus is pleased with this man. But he was displeased with the nine of them. So when you come to worship in the church, you can lift up your hand. Or you can kneel down and pray. 
जोर जोर से चिल्ला के प्रभु का महिमा प्रशंसा करने लगे आई हैव टेल यू द लाउडर यू प्रेज गॉड मैं आप लोगों को बोलता हूं जितना आप जोर से प्रभु का महिमा प्रशंसा करेंगे द ग्रेटर द विक्ट्री यू विल एंजॉय इन योर लाइफ और इतना ही आप अपना जीवन में ज्यादा विक्ट्री को एंजॉय करेंगे so i hope you will worship god with the best of your ability isliye main main aasha karta hu ki aap log prabhu ka mahima prashansa karenge aap log pura samarth se praise god when you are cooking in the kitchen aap log prabhu ka mahima prashansa ki jaise jab aap khana bana rahe hain kitchen mein praise god when you are riding in the bus jab aap bus mein ja rahe hain tab aap parishad ka mahima prashansa ki jaise praise god when you are walking जब आप पैदल चल रहा है तब महिमा प्रशंसा कीजिए। आप रोज प्रभु का महिमा प्रशंसा कीजिए। And the more you praise God, और जितना आप प्रभु का महिमा प्रशंसा करेंगे, the more grateful you are, उतना आप प्रभु के लिए प्रभु को आभारी हैं। The grace you will receive, और उतना ही आप अनुग्रह को पाएंगे। It is a never-ending blessings of God. ये एक खत्म ना होने वाला प्रभु का आशीष। C.S. Lewis, a great man, he said. The grace of God is such that once you experience one step, yes, yes, Lewis ne bola tha ki Parmeshwar ka anugrah aisa hai ek baar jab us usko apne paya aur ek step liya, you want more, aapko jada chahiye, you want more, aapko aur jada chahiye, you want more, aapko aur jada chahiye. So he said, in heaven life is like ever increasing joy. Isliye surak mein usne bola tha ki surak mein zindagi aisa hai ki jo aanand hai wo parte jata hai sada ke liye. Today is a wonderful day. Aaj ek bahut Uh, a wonderful day but tomorrow is going to be even greater it's like kal aur bhi wonderful ho and greater aur bhi jab and greater aur bhi jab that is the exact word john uses that when there is a grace upon grace yahi sab ko john istemal karta hai anugrah ke upar anugrah in christian life also aur christian jeevan mein bhi the more grateful you are aur jitna aap aabhari hai the more praising you are to god jitna aap prabhu ko mahima prashansa karte hain greater the grace god will pour out in you utna hi anugrah aapka jeevan mein parmeshwar dalega and never stop praising god isliye kabhi bhi aap ruke kya nahi rukna mat rukna prabhu ka mahima prashansa karne ke liye never be bitter against the things of god or the life kabhi bhi aap पितर मत होना परमेश्वर का चीजों से या जीवन का सीधा लेकिन प्रभु को आप महिमा प्रशंसा करते रहिए आपका प्रभु को पुकारने का आवाज छोटा हो सकता है लेकिन जब आप प्रभु का महिमा प्रशंसा करेंगे तब वो सबसे ज्यादा जोर से होना चाहिए 